Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome to another reaction video to the Sonic Frontiers gameplay reveal thing that's been going on uh, through IGN. So I'm more doing this as a follow-up to the previous reaction video where I kind of gave my thoughts on it and didn't really find it to be that great. So I'm hoping at the very least that the gameplay could be something that I can look forward to. Um, and trust me, the responses to not only my video, but so many other videos in the past couple of, I guess in the past 48 hours have been very interesting. Uh, and it's also brought certain other comments that I just don't agree with. And um, you know who you are and it's about a fan game. Anyways, uh, I'm not gonna take up any more of your time. We're just gonna get to the video. We're gonna react to it. I hope this is gonna be better. I just hope. So if I'm critical on it, remember, we're all entitled to our opinion. And yeah, it is nice to give it a shot, but some people just can't do that anymore. And you're not going to convince them otherwise. Let's get to the video. Uh, okay. IGN first continues on Usual. Yet another look at Sonic Frontiers gameplay. This time focusing on combat. So I don't understand why this had to be separate, battles, but some of which are whatever. Of the most massive bosses we've ever seen in a Sonic game. Fortunately, Sonic's got some new tricks up his sleeve. Make sure to stick with IGN all throughout June. Yeah, he, he can shift, um, he can turn things around without actually For holding now, it. Enjoy the combat of Sonic Frontiers. Uh, that just looks big for the sake of being big, not really big as in good. Okay, let's see it. Finally, show us what you got here. Oh, you do have rings. That's interesting. Like, you have rings for your health. Or at least you lose rings when you take damage. What? Um. Okay, one, this is taking... Uh, what is that move? Like... I, I really don't get it, honestly. Uh, you know what? I think what it is is that um, it's just a move that you do at the end of the combo. But it looks like it's super easy to pull off, and the timing of that's going to be super obnoxious. I don't see anything of, like, if you take too much damage or anything, like maybe you get knocked out or you go to your last spawn. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that move. Would love to see a HUD. The pop in, I do not like that pop in. But I would love to see what like what the HUD would look like. So, so I guess that's it's kind of like the mush minis from Sonic Three and Knuckles, where they have an outer shield, except this one is an actual shield rather than just something that takes one hit. And then you you make it vulnerable, and then you can attack it. Wait, you didn't lose rings there. Ah, oh, that combat looks like it'll be annoying. What's with the rings, like, spinning around? Oh, well. Or, like, flying off or something. So I guess that's kind of like... Remember Sonic Heroes where you could do that little uh, tornado spin and it flips them? I guess that's what that's like. Like, that's what I'm getting out of it. Also, yeah, uh, somebody made jokes. Somebody made a song that's like, uh, Sega hired that man. It kind of does look like that in this, because it looks like a PSO2 inspired area, but then you just drop a cartoonish Sonic in there, and it's so out of place. I think if they stylized the game of uh, the game's overworld to match Sonic, I think it would visually it wouldn't clash so much. Oh, that 3D does not look great. That looks super clunky to run around. It's like a mix of forces and Lost World is what I got from it last time, and that's what I'm seeing here. Uh, the attacks are not really doing it for me. It just seems like it's going to be stupid easy to just mash buttons and get a move off. Maybe if they had a HUD or like a way of explaining it, I think that would have worked, but it seems like that's not where we're getting. I do like that we're getting enemies that you can't just go in and just beat the crap out of and call it a day. 
you have to like time exactly where you hit, or you have to kind of time it a bit where you hit them. So we don't have like forces egg ponds or something. Wait, hold on. Was that a counter? Oh, you get a dodge move. Okay. All right, then. You're throwing a little more into it. That's that's cool. That's cool. I don't know how I feel about the dodge. Oh, so you can hit them at... So it's kind of like an opening that you can... All right. I, I, I dig that. I can, I can roll... I can vibe with that. Now, I'm guessing this is a boss, right? Oh, wow. Oh, um, that's a big boss. Oh, never mind. I thought that was a boss or something or a big... No, that is a big enemy. Not a boss. I meant an enemy. It looks like freaking okay, not not from there, but like when it had like the upper half, it looked like uh, Melt Metal from uh, Pokemon Go. So you have to homing attack that. Wait, you can also hit the legs. I think if you were able to boost for a long time, you could probably like do what from like the freaking Star Wars thing where you're going around the uh, I don't know what they're called. I don't watch Star Wars. But we all know what it is, like, you're in the ship and you just kind of go around it with the rope. <laughs> like, you'd be able to do that in a way, but... No, you do it each leg, and then you just kind of knock it off balance, I guess? Or maybe not. I want to know more about the health system, because combat's more than just, you know, how much you can punch something, but... You gotta know, like how Sonic can be vulnerable, how he can take damage, what happens if he takes too much damage. I'm not big on this combat. It just seems, like, stupidly easy. I get it. You know, Sonic aims more towards kids, but I, I think a easy-to-learn, difficult-to-master combat system would really, like, bring this up to the next level. And now it just seems like it's just throwing stuff. It, eh, it's not doing a whole lot for me. I do not like that animation. <laughs> or animation when it's just him like just spinning around. I that's so stupid looking. Uh Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not doing much to, for me. I understand that uh there are people who are still excited for it. That's fine. You're you're okay with being uh with being excited for it. It's just well It's there's a lot that goes into it that there's a lot going on that I am very caught, very concerned for. One of them being the 3D movement, which I said did not look good in the original uh, in the first video. The other one is, well, stuff like this, where. I mean, yeah, that's fine. We're going to have these puzzles in the open world game. That's kind of a thing. It's just like none of it is explained in these videos. It's like they're drip feeding the information to you. So between now and I guess Summer Games Fest or whenever the next time we see this game, we have to kind of figure it out for ourselves. So I was right. That instant homing attack thing that was in the previous video, uh, that was not a homing attack. That was more of just like uh, some kind of like dash attack or something that you just, I mean, it's, it's a homing attack that you don't have to jump in the air to start. That's... Okay, so you can also use that on springs, now that I know, uh, from seeing the previous one. I don't know, it, it just looks like, just doesn't look that interesting, compared to what we've had with so uh, Sonic Unleashed. I know I dislike that game, but, to give credit where it's due, it had a pretty good combat system for like, it had a good way of handling combat with combos. Like, that was kind of cool. Despite the fact that I didn't really care for the levels themselves, the combat was something that I could give it credit for. This, it just... Uh, I need to see more. There's not enough here to, like, sell me on it, but there's also not enough here for me to be like... I don't know. It, it's still really hard to judge. The animations are... what they are. That move is cool, though. I like that move. 
So th there's stuff that I, I like seeing here, but for the most part, it's just looks kind of lackluster. Seems like enemies here take way too much damage to knock out. Like, uh, I, I know um, this game has been compared to Breath of the Wild, and for good reason. You take a look at some of the Moblins in Breath of the Wild and stuff that doesn't really do as much damage, or that are supposed to be like the, the grunts of, uh, of Ganon's army. They don't take as much damage. Uh, they don't, you know, they're not like absolute damage sponges or whatever you want to say. So I think having Sonic see very few enemies, but having to fight them as if they're mini bosses or something, they're probably not, but you get what I mean, where he has to do an, way too much damage just to knock out something that looks like a simple little enemy. It's just not doing it for me. But um, I don't know. Let me, let me know what you think. Um, I still feel like that animation's really... Okay, well, you can do that. That's kind of cool. I didn't catch that the first time around, but all right, so there's an easier way. You don't have to just run around them. You can also do that move to just kind of quickly spin around them and uh, stun them up. But it seems like running around in that way is going to be your main way of uh, opening them up for attacks. But yeah, look at how much damage they have to take just to go down. Again, I hope we see more at Summer Games Fest. Um, I don't have high hopes for this game still. It's still pretty low. Um, the combat is kind of warming me up a little bit, but I feel like there needs to be some improvements made. Maybe some of the weaker enemies just make it fun to beat the hell out of them. And then for the stronger enemies, yeah, really bring in that you have to be smart with your moves. And doing stuff like that, that was pretty cool, like that dodge. That would be fantastic to see. So with that said, that's going to do it for this video. I know uh, it's not the most positive of videos. I'm sure there's somebody who uh, absolutely loved what they saw. Um, and that's fine. Uh, and to the Sonic Omens fans, your game is still crap. <laughs> I, I don't take that back. With that said, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content I produce, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the VTuber channel because uh, I will be posting reactions for, I'm guessing, Summer Games Fest. If we ever do, if we do see it there or whatever other time we see Sonic for, uh, Frontiers. Apologies, I've been mixing that up because they both start with F. You know what I mean. Sonic Frontiers. Uh, if you want to see more Sonic Frontiers uh, reactions or discussion or whatever, or if you want to see the Mario 64 race that'll be going on tomorrow, twitch.tv slash gotta be frank. Uh, you can also follow the VTuber channel in the description because highlights are going to be heading there. Same as reactions, anything that I do on stream. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful and safe day. Um, and if you're excited for Sonic Frontiers, awesome. If you're excited for Sonic Origins, awesome. If you're excited for Sonic Prime, awesome. But remember to be civil in the comments. And remember, not everyone's going to agree with you. But, yeah. Until then, take care.